Hey, what's up my fellow twisters? Welcome back to another redstone tutorial. Today, I will be showing you how to create a compact automatic item sorter. Now, this is super simple to create and it is made by Rabbit S'more. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Now, here is my item sorter at the moment. I only have iron ingots, gold ingots, and a junk chest. Now, the junk chest is basically any items that is not our iron or gold ingots and you can expand the system to however many items that you like to include so you can have every single item in minecraft if you so choose and it's very easy to expand i mean it's super simple guys and we'll get into that a bit later in the tutorial but anyways let's take a look at how this actually works now over here we have our input chest and of course here is our output chest now say for instance i want to pop in six iron ingots i could do that right over there six gold ingots and then I can just drop down a bunch of random hoppers a bunch of random torches as well as a bunch of random redstone and that should go ahead and go to the output chest and the other items should be sorted so here we go six iron ingots in our chest we have six gold ingots as well as all of our junk items that we placed into our our uh, junk pile so yeah there you go it's automatically sorted guys and yet again it is completely expandable and it's super simple to build so let's go ahead and get started so, okay so first things first grab yourselves some droppers place two of them facing up just like this there we go and then place one of them facing towards the right side grab yourselves a chest shift and right click on the middle dropper grab yourselves a hopper shift and right click on the bottom dropper that should send that hopper into the bottom dropper grab yourselves a redstone comparator take a signal from the bottom dropper going into a block grab yourselves a redstone repeater grab a signal from that block going into a bit of redstone dust going back into our redstone comparator then grab yourselves a block of our choice place two of them right over here place down a redstone repeater going into our second dropper set that to one tick by clicking on it once and then we want to go ahead and place on a bit of redstone dust there grab ourselves a block of our choice place two right over here to the right side of our first chest and now we can start placing down our outputs now for the sake of the tutorial i will only be placing down three outputs and that is actually going to be our iron outputs as well as our gold outputs and the final chest is always going to be our junk so it doesn't matter if you place down five different outputs the final chest is always going to be your junk just keep that in mind and what we need to do now is basically place down a chest a trap chest and a chest and you could keep this going for however many chests and outputs that you like now to expand this you could basically just place down another chest like that and keep it sideways and then extend the borders and decorations but I'm just going to make it one chest for the sake of the tutorial and now we could go ahead and grab another block of our choice at the end of your system place down two blocks like that and then make another row of blocks right at the top now the next thing you want to go ahead and do is grab yourselves some stairs and then place it upside down right in this location if you want to add in that bit of decoration now if you place on a block over here as you can see we can't open up the chest but with our stairs since it's technically like half of a block uh, you can open up that chest and make uh, a bit of nice decoration now we'll get back to the decoration in a bit now let's move on to the redstone the next thing we want to do is place down a block right over here at the end of our system grab ourselves a few hoppers and place it going towards that direction so as you can see the direction I'm moving my cursor is the direction you want to place it basically place on a hopper over here by shift and right clicking all the way till we get to the top hopper or the top dropper in our system so yet again as you can see it's moving down the line all right so the next thing you want to do is grab yourselves some more hoppers and then shift and right click on these blocks over here as you can see these hoppers are going into the block and they actually won't be dispensing anything to the front but you want it in this configuration that way nothing gets stuck now the last bit of things you need to do is basically dig out the row of blocks down here and then grab yourselves a redstone torch and place it on all of your chests 
but not the one with the junk. So keep that in mind. If you want your items like to be manually sorted, you want to place down your redstone torches right over here. But for the final chest, it's always going to be like this. Do not place down a redstone torch. So yet again, keep that in mind. Now the next thing you want to do is grab yourselves some hoppers yet again. This time you want to shift and right click on your chest and place those hoppers going into your chest. And that is pretty much it. Now the next thing we need to do is grab ourselves some blocks and place two of them right behind our blocks that we don't have our junk. So the junk chest is like totally done right now. We don't need to focus on that. Now what we need to do is basically um, yet again place two blocks be behind a chest or behind the hoppers that we have our um, you know specific items then grab ourselves some redstone comparators place two down right over there destroy two blocks over here place down two redstone repeaters going into those blocks with the redstone torches on the face of that and then we want to go ahead and cover up those blocks using some other blocks of our choice and then we want to place down four bits of redstone dust here and that is pretty much our entire system now completed now to label it i'm just going to use item frames i place the item frames on the staircases right over there i place on iron ingots here gold ingots there and an empty bucket for our junk once we have that we could go ahead and now configure the system to configure the system we could do it one of two ways and uh, i'll just go ahead and show you guys how this works it is uh, quite simple and could choose to do it however or whichever way that you like and um yeah so if you're doing this on creative mode the first option might be for you you basically want to get 22 of the item that you want to sort so in my case it's going to be the iron ingots and we basically just place down one of each item in the first four slots and place 18 of the items in the final slot and that is pretty much it now it is configured and when you grab yourself some iron ingots you place one down into our hop it's going to be automatically sorted to the second hopper so this iron ingots is also going to stay here but now whenever you put down an iron ingots it's going to go into the chest so there we go that is I believe three or four iron ingots and now yet again we do have that one last iron ingot at the bottom so in total you are using up about I believe 23 iron ingots that is useless in our hoppers which could be a problem if you want to add a diamond uh sorting into the system so yeah just keep that in mind and if you if that is a problem and you're not on creative mode the second option might be for you now the second option is going to be getting five items or 20 items of your choice that you will never put into our sorter so in my case that's granite i will never put this in and the reason why you want to get items that you'll never put in into your system is because if you put it in it will completely mess up everything if you do this method so yeah yet again 20 items of your choice then what you want to do is uh, basically left click hold it down and then evenly distribute that to the first four slots you're going, you're going to have five in each of the first four slots and then two of your goal ingots in the fifth slot and that's basically going to allow us to sort out our iron ingots much like we did with our um or sort out our gold ingots much like we did with our iron ingots. So I'm trying to explain this as best as I can and I'm confusing myself, but basically now when we enter a gold ingot into that item hopper, yet again, one stays in the bottom hopper, but all of the uh, iron all of the gold ingots that we place from now on is basically going to go into our chest down here so yet again i hope you guys understood this i'm trying to explain it as best as i can but as you can see the system now works so oh gosh i actually destroyed the chest but basically if you go ahead and place down three gold ingots into this chest and then we place down six of our iron ingots into this one two three four five six and then we place down several different chests into our um you know input chest over here you can see that our junk chest will get the actual chest items we have three gold ingots and then six iron ingots so anyways guys that is basically going to wrap up today's redstone tutorial i really hope i explained it well i tried my best but if you guys enjoyed the video please take one second to smack the like button if you want to see more redstone tutorials as well as amazing redstone maps you could subscribe and you will definitely see those things but anyways guys this was twist i thank you all for watching yet again and i'll see you guys later